Hey everyone, welcome back to another Secrets and Analysis episode discussion video. This time me and Michael are going to be discussing Gem Heist, which is the third episode in the fifth Stephen Bomb. So basically this one picks up uh, directly where the last one did, uh, as is the trend in this uh, five episode bomb. So basically the gems enter the building to the zoo, um, and of course being crystal gems and not having been on anywhere near homeworld or their you know, uh, society for a long time. Of course, they're going to stand out. First of all, you know, you got Steven, mm -hmm. who's a human. Garnet, who's a fusion, which is totally not allowed. Uh, you know, Pearl, who is a, you know, a renegade Pearl. So they worry about that. But, you know, of course, the best solution for that is that uh, Garnet unfuses and Amethyst shapeshifts and they're able to pull off a nice disguise. <laughs> yeah, I was interested to see like the whole pearl situation because now you know obviously we see that sapphires are uh high enough in the in the chain i guess to get a pearl um and it would be a normal thing but i'm curious as to how like no one really recognized our pearl as that pearl as the renegade pearl because the you know yellow diamonds pearl and blue diamonds pearl are very specific like they they're, they're very unique looking um i don't know if that's just like only diamonds get to kind of customize their pearls or if you know uh the pearl we know is like kind of a more uh regular type of pearl or something like that but i just found that really interesting yeah we know she's a fancy pearl um judging by uh, when paradox looked at her clothes mm. um, made a comment on that yeah but i mean yeah she might not be to that level of ever being a diamonds pearl although you know the evidence kind of suggests white diamond but then why wouldn't she know uh white uh, why wouldn't she know yellow or blue pearl then she know yellow pearl yeah it might be um like you mean like why pearl didn't know yellow or blue pearl yeah um uh, well apparently all blue pearls don't know each other <laughs> so yeah um, yeah like the diamonds pearls that'd be it was implied that uh, i don't know because Ho holly blue agate didn't um She's not, she implied that she had never even met Yellow Diamond. Um, so true. that kind of implies that, uh, you know, th there's a pretty big separation between the gems that are within the Diamond's factions. Since I'm assuming Blue Agate has been around for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. So for her to have never met Yellow Diamond for all this time is very surprising. Yeah, very true. Good point. So uh, right before we meet Holly Blue, we do get to see what some normal amethysts look like. And, you know, it's pretty cool to see that they're a little bit different in terms of personality, but pretty similar, actually. Uh, you know, they're still like silly and whatnot. Um, but of course, as we kind of expected uh, with warriors or with like soldiers or extra muscle, they aren't treated well by the superiors. Um, same with goes with like rubies and stuff. Basically, mm -hmm. the only one that's really treated nice is Sapphire because she's so high up there, apparently. like. I didn't yeah. know how high up, but this this these episodes made it clear that she can pretty much uh, do nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, for the most part. Yeah. Uh, and I did like to see that there was uh, quite a bit of variation in the Amethyst, unlike the Rubies. That could have been due to that they were made on a kindergarten on Earth. Um, but I'm not really sure why that is. It just could be an Amethyst thing, uh, and Rubies just tend to look very similar. Yeah, that's probably. I don't, yeah, I'm not sure. From a writing standpoint, it's probably because you know we already know an amethyst. May well, we already knew Ruby too. Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> so then, right after that, we get to meet a completely new gem, which is awesome. Uh, Holly Blue Agate, and her gem is on the back of her neck, and you know, obviously, it's a very awesome thing to see a whole new type of gem there. But uh, of course, she didn't. It's interesting to see how she didn't really get suspicious, um, you know, not until the very end. But especially because they were not wearing a Diamond Authority clothes except for Amethyst. Um, so yeah. how did she not notice, like, that they, you know, they're totally not wearing Yeah, that. I was just about to say that. Like, they're, Pearl's clearly wearing a star, which is the symbol of the Crystal Gems. How is this not coming into question at all? Yeah. And even uh, another interesting that uh, some people are noted was that Amethyst diamond on her costume was white and not blue like the other Amethyst. Uh, do you think like that is just like a shape-shifting thing that she can't really control the colors? Was it yellow when she did Jasper, when she was like pretending to be Jasper, or was it still white? I don't know. That's a good point. Let's look it up. Oh, it's white. It's white? It's, it's whitish, yeah. See, so, yeah, maybe Amethyst like 
has to go based on her own color scheme, I guess, because that's what it seems to have been every time she shape shifted. There was a variation of purple, blue, uh, purple, black, and white. So maybe she can't like you know like how she was uh, shape shifting uh, to be Jasper. She w didn't turn orange or anything. Yeah. So maybe she's limited into the amount of uh, color she can use. And since blue isn't part of her color scheme, then she can't do that. That's probably it. So the, uh, pretty soon after that, uh, of course, you know, Holly, uh, Holly Blue uh, kind of does this thing where she acts like she doesn't understand what Steven is saying. <laughs> um, and no other gem has had that problem before. So I don't know if she was just being like not caring or like she actually did have a problem with like he spoke differently. Than, uh. I don't I have no idea. I don't. I, I don't know what to make of that. Because if she can't understand what Stephen is saying, I don't know if that's like, uh, like a an old homeworld thing or like, um, a, just a blue agate thing where they just can't yeah. understand humans. Maybe. Yeah, I have no idea. Because it's most likely, historically speaking, in this universe. The gems are probably the ones that invented English, essentially, and then the humans probably started to pick it up, and that's where the English language comes from on that world. So that I don't know how that would really make any sense. Yeah, exactly. So one other just tiny, tiny tidbit that uh, I noticed was that uh, Holly Blue calls Sapphire Grand Clarity, and of course that's like a you know a very gem-related word to you know honor like to give her like i don't know what it's called exactly just to for respect and you get to see her call the diamonds later other a lot of other uh words like that but it's just so cool that they have like their own kind of um you know vocabulary to show respect to higher up gems i just thought i'd notice that, mention that yeah i'm curious to see other higher up gems i don't think we've even seen any other than the diamonds and sapphire so mm -hmm. I, I would like to see like what what other gems are higher up and why they're higher up because the diamonds obviously are the most powerful sapphire can see into the future which is obviously very valuable so i'm curious as to see what other gems are like super uh, renowned and why um hopefully we get to see that eventually same here uh but on the opposite side of things we get to see uh, quite a bit more of how pearls are treated by homeworld gems and you know we see that pearls aren't supposed to really talk walk next to their master oh and are just basically supposed to open doors for them and listen to any command. You know, it's, uh, it's very sad. <laughs> yeah, I, w I wonder if, like, the Pearl... Because uh, Pearl was, like, walking next to Sapphire. I don't know if she just forgot how to be a Pearl or if that was, like, some new, uh, new custom that they started doing, like, ever since they left where Pearls can't walk next to the Masters or something. I think it's just that she forgot. It's been so long. Yeah, yeah she quickly... Um, you know forgot her old ways most likely yeah so them but uh we do learn a lot about the zoo itself and it was owned by pink diamond and uh well was and currently contains many of the quartz gems she created on earth but ever since era 2 started which was most likely when pink diamond was shattered or the war ended blue diamond took uh over control of the zoo and decided to preserve it um so you know, that's very interesting yeah and the whole half of the building, it seems, uh, was made to hold humans. And of it seems that, or Holly Blue states, that at first it was hard for them to take care of these captive humans because they not understand their needs. So, uh, you know, it's uh, like, what happened there? I don't, that doesn't sound too pleasant. Um, <laughs> but also on, the, on that note, uh, they also have a preservation sector and a human disposal chute. <laughs> so that's also pretty bad. Obviously, they had to, you know, the humans die. Probably that's where they throw them out into space. Yeah. Terrible. And and her, like, explaining, like, how at first they were much harder to uh, control because they didn't understand them. That's probably why Garnet referred to the zoo in the previous episode as insidious. Um, because, you know, as we obviously see later, it's not so insidious, um, at least not uh, on the surface. Well, yeah, good point. So, obviously, they evolved, like, they changed the zoo to uh, better fit humans. Yeah. Uh, but we'll get to that more in the next uh, secrets analysis video so basically they get to the door of the enclosure and they learn that it was only opened once before of course we don't learn exactly what happened because right before holly blue was about to explain it ruby says that the ship is going to blow up uh, trying to make a diversion so they can open the door mm -hmm. and so sapphire and holly blue 
you know, go to take care of that, that apparent problem. And so they try to open the door and it's funny because when Sapphire winks, she only winks, she only has one eye. So she has to just <laughs> blink. And the only one who understands that is Ruby. Yeah. And then, it's so funny. So the, it takes a while for them to understand. <laughs> yeah. I love those little details like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, um, so uh, when Sapphire and Holly Blue leave, Pearl tries to open the door, but she can't. So then Ruby just decides to start punching the door. Um, <laughs> and that leaves marks on the door. Yeah. But when Holly Blue comes back, because obviously they weren't open, able to open the door she's like oh yeah i was the darn amethyst um and then right after that uh two new gems uh two gems come in uh to announce that blue diamond is on her way um i think so like one's pink and one looks red uh but their gem looks purple so i was just like that's kind of interesting were these amethysts because uh, i know he mentions one was for sure but then one of them has like a square cut in their gem i like do you, do you did you catch that like no okay. i thought they were both amethysts but then yeah there might be a different one um, yeah I don't know really... if there's any way to tell, per se, uh, yeah. what kind of gem. I was thinking by the cut, but then one of them had a different cut, so that really interested me. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we learned that Blue Diamond is on her way, and then Steven take, gets taken to the assimilation bay, so you know he can be prepped to put in the zoo. And also for a second, right as that's happening, we see the outside of the zoo, and then we see a red eye mm -hmm. uh, out there. I don't, I don't know if that was we saw that before. I wonder. I don't know why it's there. You know yeah yeah it did um i'm not sure exactly why that would be i guess just to monitor generally yeah. because that's why uh the first red eye that we saw way back in the second episode um and i haven't seen since that's what that red eye was sent for mm -hmm. um and it was probably sent to monitor the cluster i would assume yes. um so that's probably just to monitor the humans and as we see later kind of getting ahead of it but uh as we see later, might act as the sun also, maybe? The sun oh. slash moon? Um, but yeah, I don't think that was actually confirmed anywhere. Uh -huh. Yeah, true. So Steven goes in there and he gets, uh, you know, the new uh, clothes for, you know, to wear in the zoo. And it, the most interesting thing he gets is a pair of earrings, which we will talk about next episode because they're going to be more significant then. And finally, he gets put into the zoo. Um, you know, as we can see, it's like a tropical paradise a pretty amazing place and he sees his father with two other humans and then basically just the episode ends right there so on a very cliffhanger note i guess yeah and a nice little uh detail um as steven's going through like the little conveyor belt the fingers that are like kind of checking yeah. him and stuff they're like basically paradox extender fingers um and they like make the little like square with the touchpad and everything so that was really interesting so thank you for listening to this uh, Secrets and Analysis video. We'll be having two more, of course, for the last two episodes of this bomb. Make sure to try and watch the ep actual episode when it comes out. Uh, I believe it's like on January 31st or uh, February 1st. 100% uh, sure. But either way, try to watch it then or on iTunes or the app when it comes out. Because uh, some of you were saying in the comments that because it was released on the app, it's okay. But I guess it was removed. Last I heard, it was yeah. completely gone from the app. So that means it might have been a mistake that those were uploaded on the app in the first place. Yeah, so it was. please try and watch it um, when it actually comes out. So thanks for listening to this one. See ya.